James, I know they're called sealed beds, but you don't actually think they are sealed, do you? Do you? Mm, blimey. Well, anyway, bottom line, your chum needs to stump up another 50k if he wants it. Well, he shouldn't be so poor, then. That's plain selfish, if you ask me. Mm. ASAP, please, James. Must off my feet here. Yeah? Oh. Look, I'll, I'll work for the minimum. All right, I'll work for less than the minimum. I just really... Sorry, my boss has given me a bit of grief. If you're not going to eat, I need the table. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah. How much do I owe you? It's just the two coffees, wasn't it? It's, uh, it's 4 90 God. This is really embarrassing. I've left my wallet at home. No, I, I only live up the road so I can grab it in two minutes. Mate, you do know it comes out of ages if you do a runner, yeah? I'm not going to do a runner, I swear. In fact, I'll give you this. That's a vintage watch. My grand gave it to me. It's got to be worth at least 50 quid. What's the difference between vintage and knackered, then? Please, I'll be two minutes. I promise. <sighs> Go on, then. OK. Thank you. Hey, young man. I'm sorry, I couldn't help overhearing your conversation. Might I have a quick look at the watch? Yeah, sure. Ah, damn. You were right. Yep, Claude Fouché. Early one, too, when he was working out of Marseille. How much do you want for it? No, it's not for sale. We'll give you two grand. Two grand? OK, three, then. No, look, I'd love to, but it, it's not mine to sell. But she's not coming back. She said she was, and I trust her. I'm sorry. OK. If she doesn't, call me. And I admire your honesty. Go on table seven, didn't have any money. She's left her watch for security. She says she's coming back. Hi, excuse me. The guy I was talking to you before, he left a watch behind the bar. That's right. Um, I don't have a lot. Uh, miss, yeah. I, uh, I couldn't help overhearing your conversation earlier. I happen to be interested in old scrappy watches. I just wondered whether you might sell me that for, say, 300 pounds? Oh, no, sorry. My gran gave it to me, so... Well, for sentimental reasons, perhaps we could go to 400 pounds. Well, my gran gave it 450 would be my tops. I guess granny wouldn't want me to starve. And 500 pounds would certainly set you back on your feet, wouldn't it? OK. OK, yeah. You've got a, a, a deal. <laughs> well done, you. Clever old thing. Now, one, two... Six. Emma. Emma Kennedy. Oh my God, Joe. Yeah. Joe Ryan. How are you doing? Oh my God, yeah. I'm. I'm good. Yeah. Um. Sorry. Could I just have ten seconds? Sorry. Yeah. It's all, I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah. We just. Um. Where were we? Um. Um. Uh, yes. Where indeed? Uh, um. I seem to have lost my train of thought now. That's three hundred. It's just another two, isn't it? Yes. Just another two hundred. Oh, I hope she's not trying to pull a flanker on you, mate. Did me have an Oasis ticket once for sure, but dib dab and two curly whirlies. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good. But not quite good enough. Something I said. <laughs>